Are you going to be the new kitchen kitty? <laughs> She's going to sit there and lick her lips. <laughs> it's a thought, apparently. So what are we doing? Uh, I got the special unboxing because I have not one, not two, but three hot sauces. And that red one has a story, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the box we got like this came all shattered. Literally, it was smashed. You could put it in your hands and squish it. <laughs> so, yeah, they, so um, new ones. Thank you, Heat. Thank you for sending a new one. So yes, quickly. we appreciate that. Are we cooking today? Yeah, but I'm not using these. Doing We're not. <laughs> I'm doing chicken. Sorry, doing chicken. I don't know if I'm using hot sauce or not. But we're not doing. We're not doing a. No, we're not doing that. So this you're cooking one. today, but we're not doing any of those other things that we normally do. Right. This is just a standalone because, like he said. We have three of the suckers. So, this is called stressier sauce. <laughs> what? <laughs> Stress sauce. Stress sauce. Snail mate. Plus okay. H H D S E. Tasty notes. Totally unique sauce made with cold brew coffee. Dates for a hint of Sweetness, savory, black garlic, plus a blend of clepo and chocolate habaneros for a moderate kick. Moderate okay. kick. I don't know what a clepo is. So, um, maybe I said it wrong. Oh, Aleppo. A-L-E-P-P-O. Okay, I've heard of those, but I don't know what they are. Uh, food pairings. Incredible with chili mixed into marinades or used as a steak sauce. Interesting. And it's a uh, medium heat level. Yeah, I'm trying to read the little the label, the stuff inside the little um, uh, splash at the bottom there, but um, uh, I can't read it. It just says stress sauce. Um, so pep up your life. I don't have glasses and the lights off. Yeah, that red text on yellow is really bad. Yeah, it's basically stress sauce. It's a little clue. But, oh, did you did you like our award-winning stress sauce? Well, it's it's gone. I guess they had another one called stress sauce. This oh. is stressier sauce. So this oh. is the newer stress sauce. That's what it is. That's what it. That okay. okay. All right. You have entertainment at your feet. Yes, I do. <laughs> nice and dark, like a steak sauce. Oh, that's nice and sweet. And it's got a nice kick. So yeah, that'll be good with the uh, um, steak. Cool. Really good marinades too, but yeah, that'd be great with steak. He found his new steak sauce. <laughs> oh, it is. It's got a kick. It's got a really good kick. So you can really get the habanero out of that. I like that. So this one. Oh, she's playing with the box. Are you gonna be a box kitty? She ran away. Okay, let's see the replacement. Oh. I gotta tell you guys, this little kitten has no fear at all. <laughs> there she goes, there she goes. We got three. Oh, they sent you three little tester three tasties? Little packets. Um, so, uh, this is Palo Alto Firefighters Ghost Pepper Sauce. Ghost Pepper Sauce? Oh boy. Give that a try. Someday when you want things to be like sweaty. <laughs> Casa, Casa Bella Taqueria, Day of the Dead hot sauce. Cool. 
tasty notes. A flavored forward blend of um, casabal and casabel and arbo chilies with a pinch of Carolina Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna boy. be nice and spicy. Um, <laughs> That's gonna be, what is their heat level on it? It's medium to uh, Caroline Reaper to warp it up a bit, tomatillos, garlic, and a spice blend including clove and serrano. No, I'm sorry, it's clove and oregano rounded out. Food pairing is great with tacos, add the chili, or as a dipping sauce for fries. Interesting. I'm wondering how they made something with ghost peppers. Um, That's not ghost pepper. Oh. Reaper. Carolina. I'm wondering how they made something with Reaper in the medium range. They were like, this one will not break. I don't know if I'm going to be able to taste that first one. Do you, you need juice or water? You <laughs> Of course, <laughs> chefs usually cleanse their water with uh, cleanse their palates with water. But my husband, nah, beer. <laughs> I drink water all day. It's thick. Ooh. Oh, I like that. I like that. <laughs> nice bottle too. Oh, that is a nice bottle. That's that is a nice bottle. That's neat. What you do with the other, other? That's over here. All these packets are the same. I take it. Okay. All right, so. Number three. You're being watched intently. Straight up ghost, blood root mountain. Tasting notes. Classical ghost pepper sauce. Oh god. <laughs> Where's really this? Want to spice it up. Where's this one this? is like three quarters away. Ooh. <laughs> Classic goat's pepper sauce, not the very hottest, not the very hottest one out there, but it has a nice, slow building kick and highlights the flavor of the pepper. The peppers are backed up with garlic, lime, and fire roasted red bell peppers. Try it with grilled shrimp, tacos, or eggs. Just or eggs? Okay. Oh, that's a nice looking bottle. <laughs> at the bottom damn hot <laughs> it does it says it nice okay. <laughs> now you're gonna blow your palate out right <laughs> guess it's a good thing he's not cooking tonight <laughs> at least not for the his uh plating <laughs> now we know what we do this one at a time Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been a couple of months. They all know that you've uh, changed jobs and that things were just a little bit uh, dicey there for a bit. I can see it on tacos, yeah. Heat builds up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's almost... Uh, Say the typical um, salsa like a at um, um, restaurants for their tacos. Um, not a not a roja sauce. I'm, I'm, can't think of the name. I'm sorry. They have salsa verde, they have salsa roja, um, but there's another name that they call their salsas, and this is really close to it. But be great with dipping your chips into too. If you like really spicy, really spicy chips. food, yeah. Be good with nachos. 
Perfect. That's something for me to avoid. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because I'm, I'm, we're still working on that, folks. So, I know we came here for the hot sauces and stuff, but this is going to be a short video. Folks, if you are in Atlanta, you want to come visit Rooftop LOA, which is where you're working right now. Yes. How are you enjoying that? It's um, it's helping me with my plating for my videos. So, um, I have not worked on the line for close to seven years. I've been doing prep work mostly. Uh, I, you know, I, I quit the line because I pretty much got stressed out on it. A lot of a lot of things going on, and it was kind of nerve wracking. So I felt more comfortable doing prep. I got into this uh, hoping to do prep. They asked me if I was willing to do a couple days on the line. I said yes. And first week I got on roti, which was making burgers. And they switched me over to saute uh, the next week, making uh, the egg, the omelets, making uh, frittatas. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, uh, the uh, French toast that they have there. Um, but it's a very high-end restaurant, so I am learning plating. Um, I am enjoying it. I have uh, found that I've got, I've found a had many compliments on uh, food. I got one today from the new chef that we have. He said, I found, I see you very meticulous. And it's very good. Your plates are coming out awesome every time. So it makes me feel good and it makes me know that I'm doing the job right. Yes, I still get uncomfortable on the line, but as long as I'm plating, getting the food out, and it still looks pretty and tastes well, then I'm happy. Good. And the customers are happy, then everything's great. So uh, yes, please, if you're in the area, come by. Uh, it would be great to see you, great to uh, share the food with you. Uh, we, like I said, I'm there for brunch, but we, of course they also have dinner. Rooftop LOA has a poolside also that you can go outside. Um, it serves different foods though. Um, the poolside would have more, I guess, appetizers. They have tacos, like uh, octopus tacos, shrimp tacos. They have more things that would be along with the drinks that you get to go chill out at the poolside. You can even have a cabana where you have a fruit bowl. Um, so uh, I am enjoying it. Uh, love to see you guys. Um, this is something I had to get also. Just got it in today um, for plating. It's kind of hard to show, but. Yeah. Uh, They're plating spoons. These are plating and spoons and tweezers. In fact, our, our omelet comes with caviar, and this is a caviar spoon, so I'll be able to. Just scoop the caviar right onto the omelet. Um, it's also, looks like it's also tweezers. It's cool. Yeah. So, uh, but yes, since I'm at a fine dining restaurant, I would go ahead and get that so I can have my own tools and not have to borrow anybody's and maybe I can do some plating here using the tools also. So, yeah. So, I'm we got some exciting things coming up. He's been really thinking, you've been thinking about your next dish that you oh, want to yeah, do. The next dish I want to do is going to be a sous vide oxtail. And uh, so he is thinking about you all, and, but he's just been getting into this new job. And I'm really happy to see his excitement return for the food and stuff. He was really starting to get worn down a little bit at the yeah, old job. Yeah, I'm getting uh, some more ideas uh, besides just how to plate, but more ideas on different foods. He has working with the prep kitchen I was at, that they'd have different foods, but there was nothing truly exciting about it, and I was never a part of it. Right, right. So I, I would never, I may see it, but I was never able to make any of it. So or, this yeah. year, I have an opportunity to see it, not only see it, but also uh, possibly make it. Yeah, so that's so really it's exciting. And uh, he's already starting to learn some things and all that. So uh, we just wanted to let you know that we haven't forgot you, forgotten you, and uh, we do have another plating coming hopefully soon. Right. But he had to settle in, and now that he's settled in, we just have to get the financial end of our side uh, settled into the new job, which has a new payment schedule and everything. Right. Right. So we are thinking about you, and he will be cooking for you again very soon. And so that's it for the day. And if you like food, if you like uh, uh, fiction stories to be read to you, if you like geeky stuff, we hope you will subscribe. And in the meantime, we hope you all have a great day. And bye. bye.